Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another very special Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Haiti's 10th birthday time capsule number three. So if you guys don't know what time capsules are, time capsule is a way of Haiti to celebrate their 10th birthday. They're giving us 10 special items that we are going to be getting in the game, and these are going to be related to the past. So today's the time for time capsule number three, which was actually delayed. It was supposed to be yesterday, but for some reason it did not come into the game. And you must be wondering what this time capsule is about, and it is about, well, it's a cookbook. The time capsule number three is actually an event that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. It's called as the Visitor's Cookbook Event. There you guys can have a look. It's a notebook with the picture of an apple pie taped on it. And at the bottom, there's a picture of this beautiful ice cream topiary decoration that we're gonna be getting. Let's see what Haiti has to say about this. It's a birthday cookbook. A cookbook of Haiti's best recipes. Use this to throw the best birthday banquet this decade has ever seen in our special Visitor's Event. This special visitor even brings one visitor to our farm looking to get a tasty treat. Fulfill their special request and you will get a special exclusive decoration. Make sure they don't leave hungry. If you refuse a visitor, he will not return to your farm. Please make sure to fulfill the visitor request to get your special your special exclusive decoration. Maybe this should be a real cookbook. Ooh, that would be exciting. So let's get right into the game and start playing this event. I'm really excited. Let's go. All right, so I'm finally in the game. And here comes the pop-up birthday cookbook. A cookbook of Haiti's best recipes. Use this to throw the best birthday banquet this decade has ever seen. Maybe this should be. All right, let's get started with this event. Birthday banquet to remember. I have one day in 18 hours left. A birthday fair wouldn't be complete without delicious food. The special visitor even brings one visitor to your farm looking to get a tasty treat. Fulfill their special request and you'll get a special decoration. Make sure they don't leave hungry. Okay, you know what? Usually I hate these farm visitors, but today I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give them whatever they need. So let's have a look at the sweet visitors over here. I'm sure they're not going to ask for something. Mm, I'm going to send them away. And I think I'm going to wait for my new farm visitors to arrive. So, if you didn't understand what you have to do in this event, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is to serve one of the farm visitors that's going to come to your farm asking for any item. That's going to be showing you the ice cream cone topiary decoration. You just have to serve them and you will be getting that decoration. It's going to be one farm visitor out of all of them. If them, you didn't complete their request, then you're going to lose the decoration. So, I think I'm just going to wait for the farm visitors to arrive and till then I can do a bit of gameplay. Let's just, um, Harvest my crops. I've got some lettuce and mint over here, which is good. All right, I just got a saw, perfect. Let's see what I can plant, okay. Um, I have so many low carrots, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to go with some corn. Also, the visitors are just gonna ask for some specific items that I've seen and heard from other players. I think it was pumpkin soup, the mushroom soup, it was lemon pies, pizza, potato bread, which I'll be showing you guys later at the end of this video. But first, I'm just gonna wait for visitors to arrive and I see one lady walking towards my farmhouse. So maybe this could be the lucky visitor and I don't know what problem Ernest has. Oh, you're three days free. Okay, I'll be hiring you later. Okay, just gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna tap on her. So, <gasps> Wow, I'm the lucky one. This is the first of our visitors. How about selling me this? She's asking for three mushroom soup and I have five and she's gonna give me this beautiful decoration. It's unique Haiti birthday decoration. And if I tapped on no sorry, I'm gonna regret this for centuries. So don't you dare tapping on no sorry. You're gonna regret so much and it's gonna be my worst nightmare. So I'm gonna say yes, here you go. And there she goes. I got this beautiful decoration. What? All right, that was so nice. And I think for me, my event has been completed. That's it. Now, I don't need to care about farm visitors. They can go anywhere. Okay, now uh, let's just make more dairy items. So let me just show you guys the beautiful decoration that I just got. And I think it's gonna be in the reward section over here. Yeah, maybe here. Okay, let's scroll down and put it out. I love this decoration so much, you guys. It's honestly beautiful. Uh, okay, I have already a bunch of topiary decorations, but where is going to be this one? Let's see, not here. These are a bunch of valley decorations. Okay, we have the birthday topiary, cool. 
Nice. Look at the fence around that. It's just an ice cream cone with cherry at the top. And gosh, it's so unique. And it's, it's beautiful, you guys. I am going to put it with my other decorations. This could also be used as a perfect Valentine decoration for some reason. It reminds me of Valentine as well. You know, it's kind of romantic. When you're in love with someone, you share an ice cream. Other farm visitors are not gonna come now or maybe they're not going to ask me for my items. I loved this decoration so much. It's really cool. I love the concept, but in my honest opinion, it's been more challenging and it could have been more fun. Instead of just getting one of this decoration, we could probably get unlimited and it depended on how many farm visitors we're gonna serve. And maybe the farm visitors would ask for more items, like maybe 10 or 20. That would make it more challenging, I guess. It could be more fun. Um, and if not that, then uh, maybe a global event. We have to serve a lot of farm visitors and, you know, something like that. But it's pretty simple. I don't really like the fun that's behind it. It's really simple. You just have to serve them and you get the decoration. And I don't understand why it's for two days. It could have been for like two hours. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to matter. But yeah, it's a great event. I honestly loved the decoration. And that's all for birthday time capsule number three. I did like it. Now, let's just have a look at the items that these visitors have been asking. And those items depend on your level in the game. The farm visitors are going to ask for a bunch of items depending on your level. If you're a high level farmer, they're going to ask you for a mushroom soap like you saw on my farm. If you haven't unlocked the mushroom soup, they're also going to ask for the lemon pies. They will ask for the pumpkin soup, potato bread, pizza, and the red berry cake. All right, guys, so that's all about this video. I just wanted to talk about the time capsule number three, which is the cookbook event. You have to serve a farm visitor who's going to give you this beautiful tapiri decoration. I totally love it, and I hope you guys fill the request of that farm visitor. Make sure you don't send that visitor away, because if you did that, the visitor will not return with the same decoration. If you don't have the items, don't worry. You can simply make them in your machine, and you can serve them to get this beautiful decoration. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this event. Did you like it? you like the concept and how do you like this decoration don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more hate videos coming thank you so much for watching and supporting i really appreciate you guys have a great day bye